Hello children. In our previous class, we discussed about reaction of metal with acid, reaction of metal with water, reaction of metal with oxygen. Clear? When metal react with oxygen, it forms metallic oxide, which uh, along with the evolution of hydrogen gas. Metallic oxide is basic in nature. Non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. When metal react with water, I said few metal react with cold water, some some metal react with hot water, and some metal react with steam. When when metal react with cold and hot water it form metallic hydroxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas and that some metal also evolve heat but not all remember not all and when metal react with steam it form metal oxide remember metal oxide when cold and hot water it form metal hydroxide when it react with steam it form metal oxide when metal react with acid it form metallic oxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas so today we will study the displacement reaction clear before displacement reaction i am showing you some of the arrangement of metal according to their reactivity this is known as reactivity series See, see in the first, the arrow is pointing downward. See the arrow first, the arrow is pointing downward, clear? Now, so first metal is potassium, second sodium, then magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, copper, silver, gold. Last, last one, I say last one is gold, is not it? So very, very less reactive is gold metal. And very very highly reactive is potassium. So potassium at the top that means that's why I say sodium and potassium are highly reactive metal. So we keep this in kerosene because they will catch fire very easily. So gold is very less reactive. So now you will understand which metal suppose zinc and copper. If I say zinc and copper which one is more reactive? Naturally zinc, zinc is above and copper is below. So zinc is more reactive than copper. If I take the example of iron and copper see iron and copper which one is more reactive iron and which one is more less reactive copper among them iron and copper clear so if you see the reactivity series you will understand zinc is more reactive than copper but iron is more reactive than copper because now we will study about the displacement reaction See, displacement reaction. What is displacement reaction? The more reactive metal displaces the less reactive. Here, magnesium plus copper sulfate. Magnesium plus copper sulfate. Clear? So, it will form magnesium sulfate plus copper because magnesium is more reactive than copper. In the same way, zinc plus copper sulfate. It will form ZnSO4 plus Cu. Cu has been displaced because zinc is more reactive. In the same way, iron or copper sulfate. Iron sulfate form and copper displaces because iron is more reactive. Clear? Now, if I say uh, about the gold, gold plus iron, okay, which will more reactive? Iron. Which is less reactive? Copper. Because by seeing the reactivity series, you will understand which metal is more reactive and which metal is less reactive. Clear? So, today you will write about displacement reaction. Also make the diagram of reactivity series. Thank you, children.